bought our first boat. It's a big boat, huge boat. Reality, we bought our first boat. We bought it a little, almost a year ago. I bought it for Alex for his birthday present. We're gonna do some fun things to this boat. Are you ready to see the big boat? It's a <laughs> fancy a big, boat. big boat. Oh yeah. We do have a motor for it, which we hook on, but we wanna take the boat out, but we've been having this problem where we really want a solid bottom boat. Because when Kiko, wherever he is, comes on, the whole boat is wobbly, and we just want more of a sturdy boat. So today, we are going to build that bottom solid piece of the boat. And then we're gonna go fishing in this boat. And you can be an adventurer, you can own a boat and not be a millionaire. It's true. Adventure is free. I will put the link to this boat down below in the description. But it's time for us to work on the boat now, so. So this is a little side project I decided to take on and that is spray painting our VIN numbers on our boat. Even when you have an inflatable boat, if you're putting it on a body of water, it needs to have its VIN number on it. And we had the stickers that the state gives you, but they kept falling off. So I decided to make a stencil out of it and spray paint it onto the boat. So I kind of tried something interesting to get the stencil to work. I actually used rubber cement, which is a glue, uh, and stuck it on the back of the stencil and stuck it to the boat so that the stencil could be flush with the boat. And it actually turned out pretty freaking nice. Um, I totally recommend it. <laughs> All right, so we've double checked and made sure that this fit before we put the carpet on it. The carpet is this eco rug, six by eight. Hopefully it's enough. It's indoor and outdoor carpeting. And we're letting the uh, VIN number of our boat dry currently, probably. And yes, Project Kick-Ass Boat is well on its way. It is. All right. Carpet. This not might not be as exciting for everybody else, but this is super cool. Super exciting for us. Look at this. I think that turned out really nice. It doesn't look like there's any wrinkles at all. <laughs> Putting it in. I think that looks nice. Take me to the lake. Oh, it's a beautiful day. No fish to be caught. Dangerous. That's dangerous behavior right there, son. All right, Alex. All right, Kelsey. Where have we been? Where we haven't just been here. We yeah, we arrived. Hustling, like always, trying to make it work. I mean, we arrived in a new area. So yeah, we've just been hustling, trying to make it all work, trying to figure out. Freaking yeah. life. Yeah, our life, like always. So we, yeah, like he said, we are hustling, grooving, trying to make money, trying to pay off our debt. None of our dreams can come true 
we can't just quit our jobs and go buy a sailboat or buy a, a camper, a or, camper or anything until our debt's paid off. So primarily right now, our focus is paying off our debt and we invested what money we did have. Our property. Um, on our house. Hometown. Well, and then, yeah, then once we moved here. And we have, so we have two properties currently. Um, we love owning land because one day, it's a problem. It's, it is a problem. We would buy land all over the freaking everywhere. But um, one day we hope to live in a little cabin and then also live in a sailboat. And then maybe an RV as well. I don't know. But anyways, we're trying to pay off debt. We're getting jobs. We have jobs. Um, and we're trying to figure out how to do our finances. It's not something that comes natural to either of us, figuring out finances and figuring out how to pay off debt. All right. Where's our channel going from here? So, we've let you know where we're at now. We do have a ton of backlog footage from the time we got here until now. Um, on my channel, I've taken it a little bit more in the travel, country, girl, natural direction. Um, and so I'm still posting daily on there. The link for that is always down below. Um, but I will be finishing out all the backlog footage that we do have for this channel, as well as I'm thinking what we're going to be posting on this channel for now is stuff that we're doing on the homestead, um, building things, fixing things and things like that. I think that's kind of for now. And if we go on vacations or epic adventures, we can post those for sure on here as well. I'm thinking about opening a Patreon for this channel. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. Um, we no longer even monetize, are allowed to monetize our videos and they do take a long time to upload and edit. So let me know what you guys think down below. It was fun catching up with you guys.